So recently I upgraded from this Galaxy S9 to a Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now there's a lack of headphone jack in the S21 and that didn't really bother me for using it with uh, headphones and listening to music or podcasts because uh, Bluetooth is pretty good. However, it is a problem when I'm looking at using a wired mic and there's no way of really getting that into the phone apart from using an adapter. So what we can do is get a USB-C adapter which takes USB-C and gives you a three and a half mil headphone jack. Uh, it should also do mic, but do check your adapter to see if that's compatible. So I reached out to a few companies and a couple of them got back to me and uh, I'm very grateful for them sending me a couple of adapters to try out and we'll see how they get on. So in this video, I'm gonna look at the Stouchy adapter and I'll do another video with a cable creation and maybe another follow-up which compares the two and tells you which one is best. Anyway, let's have a look inside the, uh, the box for the Stouchy and see how this gets on. Okay, so we'll open that up. So simple packaging, which is fine. Uh, we've got the adapter in there. There's not a lot to it really. So you've got Here we go. Got a small bit of branding down the bottom on the USB-C connector there. Can fit either way. Uh, there is no right way around. Uh, and then you've got your three and a half mil adapter on the end there and uh, a braided cable between the two. It's not too stiff. Um, it's well made. Uh, you can see that there's no cable fraying out of the ends there. Um, no build quality issues there that I can see. So it looks good. Okay, so plugging this in, all you need to do is take your phone and pop it in the bottom there, and then you attach your headphones or a microphone jack to the end. You might see a quick flash on the screen saying USB device added, uh, and it is its own little uh, DAC, which uh, processes the sound either on the way in or uh, on the way out, depending on whether you're doing a headphone or a microphone. So plugging in a pair of headphones, the sound from that, you do get limited bass. Uh, it does feel lacking in any kind of presence. Uh, there is a background hiss that's constant. It actually only goes away when you pause the playback. Uh, and that's especially noticeable on podcasts. Um, so for audio playback, I can't really recommend this. So from the point of view of the microphone input, which is really what I was interested in, um, let's uh, fire up the voice recorder and it says down at the bottom an external mic will be used to record so that's great it's picked it up and then we'll do a couple of tests so this is a galaxy s9 it does actually have a three and a half mil headphone jack i've just been using this for my testing um, but it's got a decent internal mic as well so let's do a small recording using the internal mic uh, and then we'll hook up my lav mic here that i'm using with a camera uh, and we'll test that out as well this is a sound test on a Galaxy S9 using a Boya mic connected to the standard 3.5mm headphone socket. And now let's go to the adapter. So I'll plug that back in and I'll unplug from the camera. Okay, so this is a microphone test using the Stouchy adapter and the same lav mic as before. Okay, so you've heard both recordings and I think you can probably tell that the internal mic fares a lot better and uh, when you switch to the adapter, the, uh, the sound it records is quite muted, uh, really. It's not got a good frequency range. You don't really hear that echo in this room. I, I often film in the kitchen and it's got a small echo uh, and it really does remove all of that because of the frequency range uh, that it's recording at. If we take the recording of this and put it into Audacity. We can then switch into a spectrogram view of the recorded sound. And if we look at the top, then that's the uh, internal mic and how that fares. And you can kind of see a really good frequency range in there. Uh, then if you look at the bottom there, it's the signal from the Stouchy adapter. Uh, and you can see that the, the range on that isn't as high. So it's really clipping uh, on the top end. So it just doesn't sound very crisp. Uh, it sounds quite muffled. Um, so I, I can't really recommend that either uh, for recording. You're not really going to get uh, a good quality recording from it. 
uh, you may as well end up using the internal mic, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, it is a cheap adapter, uh, so it's around uh, the eight pounds mark on Amazon. Um, so it is, it's reasonable price, um, but for recording and for your headphones, uh, I couldn't really recommend it much. Uh, I guess the only place that it is good for maybe is voice podcasts, um, where you're not too bothered about frequency range and much bass. But there you go, that's the adapter from Stouchy. Nice and compact, uh, but like I say, the performance isn't great for either using it with headphones uh, or with a external mic. Anyway, hope this was useful. Uh, check out my other video if you're interested in how the cable creations adapter went. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.